In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to connect your Namecheap email to Gmail. It's actually very simple to do. Just make sure you pay close attention to ensure you get every single step correct. Okay, so let's get right into the video. The first thing we need to do is ensure that we have a domain on our Namecheap. So go ahead and purchase one. And once you've done that, you want to go to the dashboard. And on the dashboard, you should see your domain here. And we want to come over here to this little server icon. And from here, we want to go down to the C panel. Now this should load up here. And inside the C panel, this is where we can, you know, fiddle around with all of the different email accounts and stuff like that. Now, alternatively, we can go on to the private email section. And then we can go over here and we can go to the manage button here like that. And this way you can actually edit the mailbox here as well. So anyway, what we want to do once we're inside of our C panel is we want to go to the email section here and we want to go to email accounts. Once we've clicked on the email accounts section, it should bring up this page here. And we want to go over to this bit here that says connect devices. Now, once we do this, it's going to give us some data. The main data we're looking for is this here, the client manual settings. We're basically going to be using these details here to manually import your email into Gmail. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and open up Gmail and we can do that on a new tab or window. Now, once inside of our Gmail, we want to go across to this little settings cog up here and then we want to go to the all settings tab. So this is the all settings tab that we're on. And we now want to go to the top and scroll across to the accounts tab. Now it might be called something slightly different, but this is the one we're looking for accounts. Now there should be a section here that says something like check email from other accounts. We want to click here and click add an email account. So this is going to bring up a pop up that looks exactly like this. And this is where we want to use our data from the other page. So we want to go ahead and find our email. But here you just want to put your email address that you would like to add in there. So I'm just going to type it in. Hello at ezl.xyz. Then we want to click on the next button. And here is where we have to uh, get some of the data from the other bit. So first up here we have the username. Now this is the username here. I'm going to copy that across. And that should be the same as your other bit. So I'm just going to bring up this tab here. So these usually would match. I just put this in different for an example, but these should usually match. Next up, we have the password section. In here, you want to set put the password in that you used when you set up your email address. Next up, we have the pop server. So this is going to be on here as well. So we want to go ahead and grab the incoming server here. Copy that across. Paste that in there like that. And then we want to check the port and this is the port here. So 995. Next up, we want to select this box here. Always use a secure connection. And then the label incoming messages with this. We want to click that as well. Then we want to click add account. So it might take a second to load here. Now I put the wrong username in here. So I'm going to have to go ahead and redo this. Next up, it's going to ask us for our SMTP server. And to get that, we're going to go ahead to this one down here. And then for the port, we're going to go ahead and put this as the port. And then we're going to put the username and password in again, just as we have before. Now, lastly, what Gmail is going to do is they're going to go ahead and send you a confirmation code and it will send it to that email. So the one that we're trying to connect up and that confirmation code is just going to basically verify that you're actually trying to do this so you put that confirmation code in click verify and you should be ready to go it should have added it all onto your gmail it's basically as simple as that so if you enjoyed the video and found it useful be sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below that the video did help you out so other people can see the same video and get the same advice thank you for watching